Hey there laser makers, Jim the Michigan Laser Guy here. Uh, I recorded a video the other day uh, regarding origins, um, job origins, machine origins, and after I thought about that video, uh, I decided that I should record a new one, um, mostly because uh, I realized that I didn't spend a lot of time discussing the difference between job origins and starting points uh, or machine origins so we're gonna we're gonna take a stab at uh, fixing that issue and see how we do um, so first off uh, let me get rid of some of this uh, music um, so in Lightburn, we have a couple different things. So down in the bottom right here, um, in your laser tab, we have uh, the starting position. So we're gonna start, we're gonna cover this first. Uh, so the starting position, you have the options of absolute coordinates, user origin, uh, and current position. User origin may apply only to uh, like DSP lasers that you can set a, a predefined origin on. Um, you may not be able to do this on like a, a, a Gerbil laser, um, but let's uh, let's cover that. So, absolute coordinates. Um, this has to do with your home position of your machine. So when your machine starts up, um, it typically has um, uh, some limit switches or homing sensors uh, in my machine, they are at the top left. Your machine may have a different uh, position, um, but your light burn should be set up with your entire workspace. Uh, uh, assuming your machine is set up and defined properly in light burn, this grid should represent your entire machine's workspace. And the home position uh, is based on those where the limit switches are. So. Like when my machine starts, it goes all the way to the left and to the top. It finds those limit switches, uh, the X home limit switch on the side um, and the Y home limit switch on the top. So it finds those, it steps off of those until, it, until the switch disconnects and then it goes back slowly until it hits the switch. And then once it hits both of those switches, it sets that position as its zero zero uh, home position. Um, so absolute coordinates, uh, the way absolute coordinates works when you start from absolute coordinates is it assumes that the zero zero is uh, zero, the same as your machine zero zero is the same as light burn zero zero. So wherever you put stuff on, on the grid um, is where it will run in your machine. So like if I move this out here to the center, this would be roughly in the center of my workspace. Um, thusly, like all the way on the right is going to be the travel limits of my machine. Um, so that's absolute coordinates. Is It's all based on light burn's grid being synced up with your machine grid. This is great if you're setting up jigs, um, or setting up jobs that you can physically repeat a position in your machine, um, or you could like measure from from the limit switches um, and know that that those positions are going to stay the same over time. Um, this is great if you have like uh, a bed that has some type of fixturing or grid that you can attach to uh, to position your jigs. Or if you have rails on the sides, then you can measure um, and set the jig in the same place every time. The next option uh, for the starting position, if you're on a DSP machine, or again, possibly some Gerbil machines, but I don't think so, I do not have one to test on, is user origin. The way user origin works is basically you move the laser head to a position um, and you can set that position on the DSP. So on my machine, I have a Ruida uh, 6445 DSP. Um, so I can move the laser head out to a starting point that I want to work from and uh, hit the origin button 
which will save that position. And even though it's not zero zero, it will save that position as like the my user defined origin. Um, this is nice because my starting uh, my machine zero zero is actually kind of back be underneath the edge of the. So like I have a um, I have a cover that kind of covers up the first like 15 millimeters. Um, and I prefer not to cut underneath there because I can't see what's going on. Um, so I set an origin that's kind of out in the middle of the table and I often will move different materials in and out. So like depending on the material I'm using, I may have a small scrap that I'm working on or a large piece of material. Um, so I will typically set the user origin based on, on whatever material I'm working with. Um, so that is the user origin and then the current position it's not something you're typically going to use um, because it's not very repeatable um, but I guess this would work if you were um, like on a Gerbil laser or even on a DSP laser if you were always just going to position the workpiece to wherever the laser head is I don't know I'd never use current position um, but that would be like if you move the laser head out and you just want to start from wherever it's at currently. Now that said, um, that covers kind of the machine origins uh, and homes. Now you also have job origins. Now these differ from the machine origins because they're not really related to the workspace. They're related to where the job starts in relation to uh, your starting point. So the the user origin or absolute coordinates is where the machine basically starts from. The job is where you're aligning, like where you're going to connect to those two points, right? So right now I have my job origin set to the top left and it's, use, it's done using these anchor, um, these anchor dots. So if I position a, a piece of material Let's just uh, pick a different color here and we'll just take a piece of material. Let's say I have a piece of plywood that's a big rectangle piece of plywood. I'll turn this on so we can hear it or see it. Um, what, I would, what I would typically do is I would position this plywood um, so that when I frame all my parts stay on the plywood, right? So. Um, you're typically not going to want to frame um, you're not going to want to draw a rectangle like this because it's going to move your origin but if I move this over onto like a T2 layer turn off framing um, now I can move so this would be like I do this often where I create a kind of a rectangle template for the material I'm working with so I can see how it's going to fit um, on the job so I would put my material in here and I would set some position like, you know, I'd kind of put it in here so that my laser head is kind of just inside the boundaries of my material. And I would typically move horizontally or vertically just to double check to make sure that I have it in a straight line and that the whole job stays on the workpiece. Uh, so now the job origin, um, again, right now I have this on the top left, but sometimes I have work pieces where um, maybe I have a, a scrap that already has some stuff cut out of it. Let's just make one here. Let's say I have this, this object or this blue piece of wood here and it already has some stuff cut out. All right. Uh, so I have this, uh, blue piece of scrap wood. It has some stuff cut out of the corner that maybe I was testing with. And I want to minimize the amount of waste I have. So I don't necessarily want to... Um, so maybe I want to start my job like here. So I orient it here. But maybe what I want to do is start my job so I'm anchoring from the bottom left. Right? So that way I can line up this corner, this bottom left corner of my material... Uh, onto the onto the wood and in this scenario I can see real quickly that 
my job that I'm going to work on is it going to overlap those those items. Um, <clears throat> so maybe what I'm going to do is I'm going to like move, uh, you know, move my workpiece over so that okay now I can um, work past the edge and of course I can see that this job is not going to fit we're just going to make it fit for now um, so now I can start my my job origin um, so that it fits on my wood but now what you can see has happened and this is back to the explanation of the user origin now you can see what has happened is this workpiece is outside the limits of my bed so I couldn't actually move this wood here so what I can do then that's where I would like set a new, um, like set a new origin for my machine. So I would like move my workpiece over, and then move my laser head over, and set the origin. Oops, and set the origin. Um, let's just grab these three pieces. So I would move my workpiece over, and then move my laser head over, so that it was you know, roughly here, and then I would set the origin on my machine, uh, and I would start from user origin. Um, the other time that, and, and that's how, kind of like how this applies, it, it really, I find that the job origins have to do mostly with how I center my jobs and how I align my jobs with the material that I'm working with. Um, a lot of times this comes into play, I think the most common ones I use are, uh, top left which is how I set up most of my jobs and center origin so like I would use a center origin if I had a job um, you like on a pre-finished piece of wood or like a circle thing or something where I need to line this up perfectly in the center and I don't want to try to like figure out where the center is based on the corner and my ability to get the laser directly on the corner so what I would do like on a rectangle piece of wood let's just hide these for a second um, so what I would do is like on a rectangle piece of wood um, like if I had a pre piece of pre-finished maple like a tabletop or something that someone was gonna provide me or or maybe I had it and I did some finishing work on it and now I want to laser engrave uh, part of that item uh, let's just turn these down. Let's get rid of this guy. Uh, so let's say they uh, give me a tabletop. And this is my tabletop here. Um, and I want to s make sure my job is perfectly centered in that tabletop. So what I would do is I you know, usually typically take some masking tape and you know make a line diagonally that way make a line diagonally this way and let me mark which lets me know exactly where the center is so now I can move my material um, oops. so now I can move my material uh, so that it is perfectly in line with the center of the job or perfectly in line so I move my material uh, so that the laser head is directly in the center, right? So I have this dot marked on my physical material, move my laser head there, I set a user origin, uh, so I know that the laser head is exactly in the middle of the job, uh, and then I set the job origin also now to the center, so that the job the center of the job is also going to be the center of, of the where the starting from the center starting from where the user origin of the laser is so starting from the center of the object because that's where I've moved my laser head to match the center of the object so now I would take my my work and move this right so it, it doesn't really matter it doesn't have to match up um, with my template here the template that was the the t2 layer i just have to represent what i did physically in the machine right so i've moved the material to be under the laser head and where where this is uh, where this job is it doesn't matter if i move it 
um, any like I can move it anywhere and it will always start from this position so when I start the job the laser head will be here it will move up to the top left uh, corner and it will start its job or typically it'll move to wherever if this was an engraving job my machine engraves uh, on the y-axis on the top to bottom or up and down um, so uh, it would move typically down here in the bottom left and it would start engraving uh, left to right uh, but if this was a cut it could move anywhere wherever the optimizer has determined the best place to start is and it will start doing that that cut on uh, that cut line um, the other times this is useful is if you're you know doing a circle job uh, you have circle materials you often going to want to center that on your object and so you would move your laser to the center um, you know mark the center the same way and you can use I think they have a circle finder yeah so they have a center finder it kind of shows you you can do this on your physical material um, but you can also do it like in the in the tool right so uh, so so it's designed to work with the laser I don't usually use this but this is the same technique I use if I'm trying to find the center of a uh, like say you have a coaster um, so you draw a line between two points on the outside take a 90 degree uh, line so you take you draw a line between the two points on the circle you take the midpoint of that line and draw a 90 degree line off of it you take it another line and you intersect two points on the circle any two points it doesn't matter you take the midpoint of that line and you draw a 90 degree line perpendicular to that uh, where the two 90 degree lines intersect is going to be the exact center of the circle um, so that's how I mark my coaster or my piece um, if I'm doing a one-off if I was doing more than one I would have a jig or something like that so anyways that's kind of how I set those up and I hope that better explains like how the user origins and job origins work um, if you have any questions uh, s s send me a comment uh, stick it in the comments let me know what your questions are otherwise I hope this helps and I hope it uh, clarifies better than my pre previous uh, origins video um, if you if this was helpful to you uh, smash that like button uh, subscribe all those things help me out uh, and I look forward to uh, having more videos for you thanks guys